The first track landing vehicles were introduced and heavily relied upon during World War II. Today's assault amphibian vehicles, or AAVs, provide the Marine Air Ground Task Force with the mobility, firepower, and armor protection necessary to conduct ship to objective maneuver. The AAV continues to evolve as the future operating environment changes and it continues to provide the Marine Corps with a unique, service-defining capability. Assault Amphibian School, located aboard Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton, California, trains Marines in assault amphibian vehicle operations and maintenance, assist in the development of formal training and doctrinal proponency for the assault amphibian community, and advocates for continuous, progressive, career-long training for the assault amphibian Marine. Assault Amphibian School provides entry, intermediate, and advanced level training to both enlisted and officer personnel in the military occupational specialties of 1803, Assault Amphibian Officer, 1833, Assault Amphibian Crew Member, 2141, Assault Amphibian Vehicle Repairer. Assault Amphibian School provides innovative training to prepare entry-level Marines for service in the operating forces. Students are trained, tested, and evaluated in swimming capability, gunnery, tactics, infantry integration, amphibious operations, and maintenance skills. Students must meet demanding physical fitness and academic performance requirements in order to graduate. My name is Sergeant Andres Martinez. Gunnery Sergeant Pete Sladen. Lance Corporal Julia Chenoweth. And I'm a platform instructor. I teach the basic maintainer course. Assault Amphibious Vehicle Maintainer here at Assault Amphibian School, Camp Pendleton, California. The mission of Assault Amphibian School is to train entry-level students how to be operators of AAVs, mechanics, how to be officers for these vehicles, and we also provide intermediate, intermediate level and advanced level training for both courses as well. We train these Marines on the Assault Amphibians Vehicle Platform. We do this by having these Marines go through 55 training days. They start out by getting classroom lectures. After each lecture, they'll get demonstrations by all their other instructors and at the end they'll be evaluated through practical application and field training exercises. Some of the innovative training methods that we use to train these young Marines are actually for our gunnery. Once they get into that portion of their course, they'll first run through a simulator. It's actually how to use the weapons. It almost looks like a video game to them, but it's a very real life scenario and it prepares them whenever they actually go do their field exercise training. Our community being so small in the Marine Corps affects us and these Marines simply because this is not gonna be the last time that we see each other. Later on down their careers, once these young Marines become NCOs, we'll be working together side by side in the operating forces. We'll go on the plumbing together. So this isn't the last time that we actually spend one-on-one -on -one time. We build that working relationship right now, that instructor-student relationship, and later on down their career, it's just gonna continue. We support the MAGTAV simply by providing that ship-to-shore capabilities, and once we arrive on shore, we also provide follow-on missions from shore to objective to the infantry. We carry infantry to objective and provide support by fire. The mission of my course is to take uh, students who've graduated boot camp, MCT, and they've gained the, the basic skills of Marines and continue their transformation towards the fleet and teach them basic mechanical skills and also operational skills of the uh, AAV. That way they know how to operate what they're working on. The methods I use to train the Marines, uh, most are going to be classroom methods. Uh, upstairs will be our basic PowerPoint informal lecture where we get the students involved. It's not so much as a uh, direct discussion like it would be a recruit training or maybe other schools such as SOI. Uh, here we really like to get the Marines engaged and have them be part of the process of not just learning but also helping teach themselves. So for practical application, we do most of it down on the ramp, which is our rear area maintenance place. 
We'll take the students down and they're going to start practicing on everything they're going to do from suspension work all the way up to the more technical intricate things. Like they'll be pulling an entire power plant assembly which weighs just over 6,000 pounds. We'll have them run on the deck, hooked to the vehicle, and then we have them re reinstall them as well. You look back to the island hopping campaigns, you look to roles in Vietnam, you look at roles in every major engagement, whether it was you know, Somalia or even Iraq, we had AEDs there. So it's hard to say you know, in any climate place where you'll be. The mission of our section is to maintain these vehicles so that way both the students and the instructors can have the hands-on experience. It's one thing to learn in the classroom, but it's a completely different thing to actually drive the vehicles and we make sure that you can do that safely and that you can operate and learn how to operate in a safe environment. The instructors here are extremely dedicated to what they do. They will go out of their way any time of the day to make sure that you understand everything that you have to understand in order to become an Amtracker. Uh, personally, I struggle with some of the physical aspects and our instructors made sure every day that I was going out, lifting weights, um, doing the buddy drag, and eventually I got it. So they will go out of their way any time, any day to make sure that you understand whether they teach you in the classroom, whether they have to draw it out, or whether they have to bring you down here, turn on the vehicle, and actually show you how it works on the vehicle. A Marine want to become part of this MOS because we are that heart of the Marine Corps. We provide that amphibious assault that we are known for. We can go from ship to shore at any time, any time the nation needs us. Uh, especially as a female, with this new integration, we have to meet those standards. It's a huge challenge. It's something that not everyone is up to, especially women coming into this integration field. So as a woman, it's a chance to make history. As a Marine, it's a chance just to be part of the heart of the Marine Corps.